In this video, we'll be doing a head to head test uh, with shellac and vinyl sealer. Number one will be shellac. Number two is the vinyl sealer. The shellac just got applied for the first time. We're actually going to do a second coat. We're going to split the sample into two. We're going to leave one coat on. Uh, one portion of the sample and we're going to do a second application on the other half. There it is wet. We're going to do the vinyl sealer now, first coat. Again, number two means vinyl sealer, number one, which we just did, is the shellac. Now, the first coat of vinyl sealer is done. We're going to do the second coat. I'm sort of cheating on this one because I'm doing a tinted vinyl sealer. Um, basically because uh, I just had to get going with, with uh, the other project we have at hand. And uh, this is all I had to use. So it's a little unfair with the second coat on the vinyl sealer it being tinted. Especially because the final top coat is this dark gray. Now doing the final, first and final, top coat of Envirolac 300 Series 3 Degree. Funny enough, we didn't get any bleed through, come through on the vinyl sealer or the shellac. Whether we did one coat or two coats. Now... I wouldn't trust this system if you are going white because I believe the pigment is responsible for cutting down the bleed through. If you were to go top coat with a white, you'd probably need a second coat of primer for sure. Now we're going to do a cross hatch adhesion test inspired by Eric Reason, of course. Now here goes the shellac, and that's the vinyl sealer. Let's see. Wow, almost nothing. Very good, very good. Yeah, Midway and Eric Reason are not lying when they say vinyl sealer is awesome. And um, you know what? The vinyl sealer makes your top coat look more beautiful. I, I see that the shellac actually gives you a more coarse finish. Um, whereas the vinyl sealer creates a very smooth and supple foundation for any top coat basically in the market. The shellac tends to crackle around the edges in a minute way, um, in a very subtle way, but definitely yeah we got some, we got more, like that's obvious, we have more uh, material coming up with the shellac sample. Um, so overall, you're, it looks like you're going to get better adhesion, a little bit more durability with the vinyl sealer than the shellac. As you can see, we're getting a lot more material coming up uh, with the shellac, especially with the Envirolac, because the Envirolac definitely does not pair well with shellac. Um, Again, shellac, it's a good product. I've used it for years. But the vinyl sealer seems to give you a more beautiful finish. Mar test. Yeah, very good. I'm really digging in here. So that's just seeing how it breaks down. Um, same thing here. Um, it seems like uh, we can get a little bit more material and we can separate the primer 
and uh, the top coat, especially with the Envirolac, quite easily with a uh, utensil such as a spoon. Now I'm going to do a scratch test with my nail. I have, I have strong nails. I mean, I can really dig in there. And uh, all I'm doing is denting the wood. So we got a really durable finish with the vinyl sealer. And um, looks to be same thing with the shellac. Can't scratch it with my nail. And I'm really, really going at it. I have sharp nails. I mean... I have normal nails, but enough to scratch the material. You can see my knuckle there is getting white from really digging in. And I'm creating dents in the wood. And I'm not getting any material up. So overall, I think Vinyl Sealer will give you a more uh, beautiful finish. The durability is probably, again, with the Vinyl Sealer. So to sum it all up, uh, I'm very happy with the vinyl sealer. I've used also the shellac for years. Whenever I've used it on cabinets, I haven't gotten any failures for interior cabinet tree refinishing. So um, I know there's rumors out there that shellac is no good. Um, do not use shellac. I'm not one that's going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that shellac is great. Uh, though, though, if you want... A slightly more durable finish, um, especially if you're going to go with Envirolac, do not use shellac because they just don't pair up well. Um, the vinyl sealer is definitely going to give you a foundation uh, for success when it comes to finishing because it's going to sand easily. It's also going to give you a more beautiful final result than the shellac will. So ultimately the shellac is a great product. So please tell me if you found any of this information useful. If you did, uh, hit the like button. Also be sure to let me know if you wanna see uh, tests and similar content in the future from me. Thank you, all the best. Until next time.